Esta es la situación, esta, esta es la situación. Buscando where I belong, ven buscando where I be. Esta es la situación, esta. Guys, we are off to Mozambique. We are flying with Fly Sophia. Not Fly Sophia, what is it? Ailing. <laughs> I'm so used to Fly Sophia. So we're flying with Ailing for the first time. So let's go. Our gate is 8.15 and we are at, I think, gate 9 and 10. Like we've been walking for, I'm sure, maybe like seven minutes is that far, but <laughs> we ain't in domestic no more, honey. Okay, so it's different out here. The air is different, the vibe is different. Love it. Guys, I've never been on these things. I only see them on YouTube. So, but like American YouTubers, that's so cool. <laughs> it speeds up the process. It's so nice. Just embarking. Just landed in Maputo. Uh, the airport is quite well. I haven't seen the inside actually, so I don't know. But it's quite like pinkish on the outside. So. Let's go. Sister Lynn, Sister Lynn. Where are the international bibs? Welcome. We are here, guys. We have arrived. It's a bit sunny. You can't see it, but yeah. So our driver just went to go pay parking, and then I don't know what else must happen. Okay, then we go into the hotel. So it's so hot. It is freaking hot. Okay, Mama. Hi, mommy. Hi, Nana. Welcome to Mozambique. Yeah. <laughs> So when you enter the room, you have a mini fridge over here and then we have our own little sink situation going here, which is super, super cute. This is the water. So this is where you'll see the name right here. And then our little coffee. Okay. Sorry. Our little coffee station over here. And then it closes and they give us free slippers. I don't know why they don't have a robe, but you know, these hotel typical slippers. So yeah, there's that. And then we have a sink over here. They give us a toothbrush. Just super cute. Uh, shower caps, I'm assuming. Sanitary bag, it says. Uh, a hair dryer, mirror, me, towels. Uh, this is the bathroom. So you have your little tub over here. And the shower. Look at the shower head. That's stunning. And then you have your toilet situation going on. I mean, you can literally see into the next room. <laughs> So it's very much open, like no privacy whatsoever. So this is the bed. And I'm obsessed with this full length mirror. Look at it. Look at it. Stunning things. And then you come to the view. But you see the whole of Mozambique. I feel like it's it's stunning. But from the outside. Okay, not stunning. But you know, you see the country. Get a feel of where you are. Like you're in a different place. <laughs> so that's the view. We have it on this side as well. What else did I forget to show you? Okay, the sitting area. So yeah, we have a sitting area over there. What I think is missing. Oh, the TV is up there. This is the presidential suite. Okay, your girl had to go above and beyond for her birthday. Okay, so that's the vibe. Yes. Okay. My colleague uh -huh. is coming to, to give you a wife password. Okay, no problem. You have a swimming pool for it. What's that? Swimming pool. Oh, okay, okay. And then we would like to order some food. Food, food we have a restaurant, but we call to zero four. It's very full. Zero four is oh. the restaurant number. Oh, I can dial zero four. Yes, for food. Okay, no problem. Okay. Obrigado. Okay. Nada. Okay. <laughs> it is hot, so we're gonna try to get some food because we are starvationing. So this is their menu situation. If it's in Portuguese, I'm gonna scream. Okay, let's see. La Mesa Restaurant. Oh, eh. oh there, there's an English version. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus. Okay, no, who wants soup? Yeah. So we just got some fruit to get started for the day and then I ordered some eggs as well. So you can sour Mmm. Happy with it. Oh say that sour. Mm. Get the green tea the side. It's actually translated into Portuguese. So here's a tea haul. <laughs> we have this one which I've never seen. The Delta something something. Whoa. Which one is this one? I don't know this one as well. Okay. And then we have this one. So this is our breakfast. We have some eggs over there. Ooh, that's a nice color. That is yellow. 
sleeping on your senses. Don't let up. Sometimes I don't want to get up. Oh, shit. Guys, this is my OOTD. How pretty does she look? <laughs> We're about to head out. Mama, please show them your outfit as well. Yes, African queen. Love it, love it, love it. Esta la situación. Esta, esta la situación. Buscando where I belong. Been buscando where I be. I see it, I see it. Esta la situación. So we just got to South Beach you guys and like everybody has said in the comments Well not in the comments but like what I've read uh, Yeah everything is in Portuguese so that should be interesting So let's try to order, let's really try to order Okay mom I'm get a salad dude Get an entree, get soup, covet your appetizer Salad, okay I don't know so got that in Oh nice. This are your mains. Oh which ones are your mains? These ones. This one is pasta. This one is prawn is fish, mm -hmm. prawns, steak. Oh steak, this one is salad. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so our drinks are here. We got a mojito because you know that's that's what looked familiar and then we also got a salad. <laughs> <laughs> because of Nanda's guys. Also the price is, I'm sure this is like a high-end restaurant which makes sense because a lot of people come here but what I've noticed is that a lot of people come here for drinks and not necessarily for food so maybe that is why but yeah South Beach. Cheers! So this is our food you guys. I had started eating so I got a salad. Let's go to the beach. Each. Let's go to the famous swing that you guys see all the time. So this is the Maputo Beach. And then we were off to the mall. We went to buy a mall because we needed to withdraw some money. And fun fact, the Standard Bank in Mars, guys, has six numbers. Yeah, it has six digits. So I had to go to an alternative bank and that's what it said, which was super funny. Like, please remove your money. And then we got some cash. They also have a spa this side, which like a lot of things also written in Portuguese. But we got some snacks and then this is the drive back to the hotel. And that was pretty much the end of the day. We came back, you know, chilled by the pool. And these are the lights from the pool. And yeah, that was day two. Morning, bon dia. Welcome to my 20 fifth birthday vlog ladies and gentlemen she is up my dad was the first person to call me because <laughs> it's back home but oh man we are officially 25 ladies and gentlemen we are within we are within so i just want to take a quick shower and go down for breakfast and you know get ready for the day per Got to be, you must come through for your girl. Breakfast is looking good today. Okay, it's looking good. My mom just went to go get some cheese for us and I will show you how we got. Okay, babies, so this is what breakfast is looking at. We got some pasta and some meatballs. Got this little dessert. I don't know if it's gonna taste good. We got some fruits, juice. Mom, what did you get, Mom? Meatballs and beans. Beans and ciabatta, toasted ciabatta. Okay, it's time to get our faces beat and our hair done guys I didn't actually show you guys so I actually uh, went to go get my hair installed for the first time guys we within I actually wanted to vlog that experience but uh, Yeah, a lot was going on on that day. I was busy, you know, also got my nails done. Did you see they have some hot situation? Please focus yeah, they have some mini hearts on them, which is super, super cute. Oh, I didn't show you guys my outfit and my shoes and everything. But yeah, everything is stunning. Believe you me. Done. Oh, hair is done. I'm hoping that it's done. I hope that it stayed on. So yeah, now we're going to do the makeup for the birthday girl, for the 25-year-old that we are. Okay. Sorry. Getting the fella for Okay. Let's beat this face. No pressure. Hey, no pressure. I really want my makeup to be stunning today. And you know. Let's hope, let's hope. Thank you to Shein for sponsoring this video. <laughs> this is literally where we start our makeup, guys. Like these Shein bags come in a handy, no lie. So I start with some concealer to cover up some spots. I like mixing caramel and baby's 
coffee. Fall asleep, you will be okay. In your dreams, things will be okay. Cause you're here on purpose. You're made for a purpose. Just know that you're worth it. Give him all of your burdens. Start counting sheep, you will be okay. No need to weep, things will be okay. Cause you're here on purpose. So here's the final look guys, we headed towards my photo shoot right now, we are rushing, a lot happened <laughs> before we leave to the house, but yeah, we're going to our photo shoot right now, and yeah! Exit the yes. roundabout onto Avenida de Zambia. Which one is Avenida? This one? Sorry? The Zambia one. <coughs> Hi mommy. This is Stato's. Oh, this one. This is Stato's for, yeah, this is Stato's for the... A first president of Relim. Guys, so this is the situation. This place is super dodged. My mom was super scared. <laughs> she was just like, we're not gonna do this, but we're here and my camera's gonna die in a few. So ASKC, the BTS, apologies. Update you guys. So my camera, it didn't die. My SD card is full. So we're currently at a restaurant called Luma Restaurant. It's quite pretty. It's a pretty restaurant, quite pricey as well. But yeah, we ordered. Um, this is the Luma Sensation. You won that one though. It's a whole ginger. This is mom. Hi guys. This is the outfit. The girls are back in. Oh, I ordered the garlic shrimp. Let me Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Oh <laughs> Guys, so this thing is like a rock. <laughs> My baby. Hey. Me okay before we get copyrighted. Okay guys, oh I showed you guys the shoes. Wake it pop. So we just got back from the hotel, guys. It actually became a movie when we were supposed to leave the restaurant because our driver went to MIA, had some errands to run, which took some time, and we like you know we're waiting there for so long. And a uh, review on Luma, to be quite honest, I was not impressed. Like first of all, the food was not nice. See, if the food is worth it, then it's fine. But we had starters, and we were just like, there's no need to have main course, honestly. At this point, we asked for dessert. The dessert was also the hardest thing on this planet. So honestly, Luma, I was not impressed. I was not impressed with the food, and I. Remember when I was watching vlog at Miss Exo, she did say that the food in town in Maputo actually is trash. And like when you go to the islands and the villages, that's when you get the good food, which I honestly agree. But I didn't think it was that bad. Like I haven't had good food in Maputo, and I'm not okay because even South Beach, like we had a salad as you guys saw, and the salad thing, I was not impressed. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's certain things you just can't get wrong, guys. You can't get a salad wrong. You can't get chicken wings wrong. You just can't. There's just no way. There's no reason for you to do such. But otherwise, your girl had a fantastic, beautiful stunning disgustingly beautiful birthday guys uh, it was super fun it was honestly fun irrespective of everything yo happy birthday Kara! happy 25th birthday i'm 25 guys that's first and foremost like it hasn't clicked also how's my makeup give me a rating out of five not of ten <laughs> you'd say i'm drunk honestly uh yeah give me a rating out of ten but how did i do but i think i looked stunning why is the video paused do you have low shading in your country Hi. Hola. Oh my gosh, I'm showing so much boobs. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Do you see? It's it has like embellishments. It's giving like expensive, right? It's giving like Dubai. Your caller number sixty-two. I'll get back to you. And you'll be twenty-six at that. Yeah, I'll, I'll be older and wiser. You know, I'll give you advice and tell you how to be this fabulous at twenty-five. Because clearly, I mean, look at me. Hola, oi paswa, mi name karabo, network ya ko aise benzi. Let's try reconnecting. One, a two, a one, two, three, go! Yay! We have a Sunday on the line. Hi, Sunday. How are you? Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with the ever so beautiful Karabo. Hi, thank you for having me. Everybody, make sure to like, share, subscribe. 
because I called everybody on my contact list today. I was, everybody's just like, hi. I'm like, hey, how, how are you, how's life? They're like, you're so studying. I'm like, oh, really? I hadn't noticed. I'm like, <laughs> go figure. Do you see all this electricity, ma'am? Do you see? I'm coming back. I mean, it's hard to tell, hey? <laughs> It's hard to tell, but I think, I'm assuming, <laughs> that I might come on Sunday. That's all. That's all I'm going to leave you with. Good night, everybody. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs>my big edge i still struggle to put on lashes but also have these long nails so i'll use that as an excuse but yeah lashes are my downfall we make up i haven't really gotten into them so my mom always installs them on me if that's the word we're using install <laughs> so one is ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, yeah mm. U M U M yeah when you write yeah those those is two three is three three cuatro yes five is cinco cinco okay um dos tres tres cuatro cinco cinco seis seis I like six okay seis siete ocho ocho is eight okay and then nine nine dos Dish. Dish okay, um, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, siete, seis, oh, seis. Oh, siete. Obrigado. Hermano, treinta casos. Pa, emba, even cinco. Ah, da, cuál es el chomo la? Give it, 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 give it's literally coconut water. Coconut. Mm-hmm. When it's nice and fresh and different. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Not really, but it's not bad. Like it's not, I don't know. I don't wanna finish it, I wanna take a picture. Just here at the what is it called again? What is it? This place, Cathedral. Cathedral. Mommy, okay. hi to the vlog. Hi See? guys, so thanks. <laughs> so yeah, this is how long it is. Look at it. Uh -huh. Ooh, look at that view though. You see, working backwards. So yeah, we at the baby town. the railway station museum. I think it's for the transport uh, situation, guys. Sorry, distraction. <laughs> so yeah, let's go see. Uh, guys, so we're currently sitting at the train station, like Sabawel Bunny train, because when last in South Africa, or South Africans have a train. Like when was the last comment down below? When was the last time you were on a train? Because I remember even before they got discontinued, like it's been forever since I've gotten on a train. So yeah, we're just chilling here. It's actually a museum and an actual train station, which is super cool just to watch people like come back from work and go on the train. You know, so we're just gonna be chilling here for a while because also our driver has a life. <laughs> Clearly, so yeah, we're just gonna be here and observing. <laughs> Okay, we're at a local place, it's called Taki, Takida, Takida, something like that, to get some chicken, because like I did say, we haven't had like good food while we were here, so let's hope that this quarter chicken is good, that's all I hope. So we just got a quarter chicken, because my mom is very picky, my face is shining, you but yeah, my mom is a very picky eater, so it's literally just for me. Okay, thank you so much, we go. So we're back at the accommodation you guys my mom and I the whole time we thought that this was the jacuzzi because it didn't have this fountain thing the last time we were here so we really thought like oh jacuzzi vibes we're gonna come here today and now look it's just a fountain but look at the pool area at night it's so stunning hold on let me go backwards so yeah that is the pool and this is like a I don't know they're trying to make a lounge there like a shisa lounge and then this is more of the hotel up there we're more the side 
It's also a nice area, a nice part of the hotel. But the nice thing about like the wind here, like it's humid, it's not cold. So like you can see by the hairs are flying. It's really not that cold, y'all. It's been a great day. Ooh, let me show you guys my pictures though. Oh my freaking gosh, that guy came through. He came through for the masses. Okay, it's a bit overexposed here, but you will see on the gram. How disgusting. Look at it. This one is my fighter. Hey, I don't fear your butter son and Vunukungasho. It's buttering malanga rings popping. You know, this is the attitude. This is how we enter in the year. So, yeah, we're going back to our room now. And I think we're calling it a day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Are we good? Are we smudged a little? Good morning. It's actually afternoon. I think it's one o'clock, you guys. <laughs> Today we've been having quite a chilled day. We're literally going to the pool right now to just have, hold on, just to, you know, take some pictures, baby the girls, uh oh, oh, titties. That's the vibe. Great flavor of the day for South Africa. I'm going to like it as I go back to mine. Chill sushi. Mama, I saw you guys are talking about the nap. Ah, we just, ah. I need a piece. Guys, so we just went down to get some food from this lady. <laughs> this lady right here sold us this food. Let's see. Hey, food head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is the food. This is chicken and a salad and another salad and chips. I get the chips with my <laughs> But okay, we are about to taste. Are you want it here or you want takeaway? You want to wait? What's it? I can do something. <laughs> Guys, their accent is so cute when they try to speak English. I actually you love it so much. Mm. Okay, it's good. I said that I had another swipe, but good. Guys, they are really good. Guys, they are good. Good food. That lady, good food. Her chicken is delicious. Mm -hmm. This plate was 170 medical, which I'm not sure. I'll check for you guys how much it is. So this is their 10 mats. What we bought was 170. So this is what change or 30 rand. Okay, not 30 rand, but 30 meticles. This is how it's looking. So the plate in South African rands cost about 58 rand. So 60 rand. So not bad, not bad. We are full. It was um content. I'm happy with that meal compared to what we've eaten so far. Like this is, you know, it makes up for it a little bit, a little bit. The weather looks gloomy, but it's actually so hot. Yes. Guys, we are outside. Are going to the ATM? Uh, yeah, we're going to the ATM. Like, it's right out. Oh, yeah, let's say like five minutes away. Not even five minutes, three minutes from our hotel. So, yeah, we are within the streets. Hi, mommy. Hi. How are you? We are banking. We are banking. Hi. As long as yeah. These are the streets. Let's walk and be locals. This is the garage. They have KFC. <laughs> Oh, mama, oh, mama, I'm very young. <laughs> so we just got some KFC, guys. You know I'm not a KFC fan, so I just got a wrap for the night and yarn. Hey, language barrier, guys. I've been telling you. Now we missed out on sugar cake. We have to point. So yeah, we just pointed at pictures. Like yeah, I want that one. Ah, oh, this beautiful terrace like it's so gloomy you would swear that um, it's cold but it's actually so humid like it's so hot my hair's itchy guys but I'm gonna miss this so much why are we overexposed okay so thoughts about my first international trip right first of all it's been <sighs> amazing and surreal the fact that we made it happen like shout out to god thank you so much honestly for making this happen my dream for my birthday was honestly to be out of the country like i didn't care where i was to be quite honest i knew that i just wanted to be out of south africa like to do an international trip and we did that and first and foremost i'm just grateful for that on its own because i don't come cheap okay the discipline that had to go into me saving for these and all of that so honestly i'm super super grateful for that and secondly i mean like mozambique is right here right and we've interacted i'm sure in south africa with people that are from mozambique or have parents that are from mozambique and it's so interesting to kind of like see how you kind of like overlooked how different it would be you know like it's so different especially because of the language first and foremost um the environment as well like i keep talking about the driving i keep talking about the the buildings you know what i mean just everything is super super different that you would swear that i'm in like a whole other i mean i am in a different country but you know what i mean like just super far away from home so that in itself just uh, revealed to me that listen a lot goes on <laughs> and in other countries it's so much is different in other countries as well we're all african countries but life is so 
different you know so that was an eye-opening experience and just encouraging to like learn new languages you know what i mean i feel like um not that i'm sad to be quite honest in terms of like not having met people that are like my not like minded but having met people that i could have interacted with you know learned more about the, the the place and the culture and everything but i feel like that's always the best experience just to meet people that are from a, a place you know they explain to you how different things are and just like you know i don't know just familiarize you with uh their way of life so i feel like that's one thing that i kind of like wish i had throughout this trip but just from observing I, I could see just how different life is and that has been amazing thus far it really has and yeah personally i had a good time i really did um i didn't you know do a lot of activities this time because honestly first and foremost this is my first trip of the year so i really just wanted to relax that's first and foremost because work has been a lot life in general has been a lot you know just everything has been a lot and i just feel like i needed this break to be um away from home away from my normal life away away from my normal routine and just like you know imagine what life would be life would be like if i lived in a different uh city altogether you know so that has those are like my nah guys when i come back to mozambique i'm definitely going to the islands though i just want to be in like on the beach that's really what it is like if, next time i come here i'm definitely going to the beaches to the islands and experiencing that but so far I had a good time i had an amazing birthday and i couldn't be more grateful thank you It is scorching hot, you guys. So we got, we just got some sugar cane juice for about maybe ten. I can't see, but it's so hot. For about two hundred metricash, so it was a hundred rand each. Is that a hundred rand? <laughs> hundred metricash each. <sighs> Hello from the market. So here we are. I don't know exactly where we are, but we are at the fish market, and it looks really nice. It's giving that Mozambican feel do you see the boats behind us and we just ordered some prawns up there that's where they have the market so <laughs> you sorry <laughs> and this is our stunning view we're sitting by the beach guys eating our prawns from the market oh that's cool I'm even eating the shells, it's so good. Guys, so I literally forgot my laptop at the hotel. Imagine, we were at the airport and now we're going back to fish my laptop. I'm so annoyed because why? <laughs> why? Finally at the airport, you guys. What a mission, Gisana. What a mission. So first and foremost, we were not running away per se. We we're leaving him. We do not want to use the driver that we initially uh, used throughout our trip because we found out that he was charging us triple, if not double, the amount, guys, that you're supposed to be paying around here. So we found a guy, a reasonable guy, Lorim Vela, give price at the So it was that. So yeah, I forgot my laptop. Had to go back. Only my mom. We left my mom here at the airport, only for the guy to come back. The our initial driver to come back literally announce my name <laughs> on the intercom i don't know um yeah so they announced my name my mom was still outside so i still wasn't here okay fine we come in we find him at arrivals waiting for us and it's just like hey you you know like why did you guys um kind of like run away from royal and bushes and things like that then we explained like no actually you scammed us throughout this trip to be quite honest so, so we didn't feel like we owed you i mean we could have told him yes that we're not going to use him but you know what we were rushing and it was just like if he comes he comes i left everything like he borrowed me his sim card uh, during our trip so i just gave him my um what's this like i left his sim card back and yeah it was that so that was interesting because the fact that Muta Abe i uh, want <laughs> to announce my name on the intercom as if like i'm his child or i owe him anything because i really don't you know what i mean but yeah that is mozambique wrapped up you guys today was so beautiful it was so fun i really oh. wish that we had found this guy earlier on in our trip to be quite honest i mean you live and you learn that's really what it is you live and you learn and it was fun i'm definitely coming back tomorrow definitely with my chest okay bye